Mr. Warren, I'm really glad to have you as our new assistant principal. Excited um, to be a zebra. You know, being the freshman principal is going to be a lot of fun. Claremore is a great place to be. But Absolutely. As we get started, as a part of your training protocol, I do have a couple of questions for you. I'm ready. So if a student were to show up tardy to school, right. where does that student report? Just go to first hour. I'll never forget that again. <laughs> you don't go to first hour. If you're tardy, you're gonna show up to either the attendance office or you're gonna to go to the front office and they'll check you in and you will be assigned to detention. Okay. Dr. Hamburg, what are your thoughts about wearing hats to school? You know, hats in the building, I'm honestly not a huge fan, but let's probably not make that big of a deal out of it this year. Wrong, it's a big deal. You don't want them wearing hats at all in the classrooms, at, to school, or even their hoodies. You know, that's a fair point. We're definitely gonna, you know, not let them wear that. <laughs> Miss Lee, you've been a teacher, you're now an administrator. I'm really glad to have you here at Claremore High School, but I've got a tough one. Okay. What are Claremore's school colors? Oh, some people think it's red, white, and black, but actually it's red and white. I didn't think you'd get that one right. Uh, don't doubt me. <laughs> I won't. Dr. Hindenburg, please tell me how you feel about public displays of affection, PDA. You know, it's probably not appropriate when it's in the classroom, but they've got a five minute passing period, so I suppose that's their time. No, no PDA at school. Yes, ma'am, no PDA. Thank you. Round two. So I'm a little disappointed in your first response. Let's see if you can get this next one correct. I've got this. So if a student needed their schedule changed, how would they go about doing that? Uh, uh, is there a QR code somewhere? Not fast enough. Dang it! <laughs> there is a QR code that's going to be posted throughout the school, but we're not going to form a line in front of the counselor's office and wait for a long time to get in to see someone. So, first come, first serve, scan the QR code and submit your request. Okay. <laughs> Mrs. Meisinger, since we're covering parking, what about a student parking in a painted parking spot that's not their own? Sure. No, absolutely not. They cannot park in a painted spot. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> um, you know, you've been here for a year, Mr. Grisham. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you, do you know who was a three-time state high jump champion on our staff? Was it Zach Weber? It was not. Oh. Wow. It was Eric Queens. Gosh dang it. Where are students allowed to eat lunch this year? Students can eat in the cafeteria and I hope they really enjoy the new paint and how that looks in there and new furniture should be here soon, but I'm also okay with them eating in the pit. No, they can't eat in the pit. Okay, no eating in the pit. <laughs> Mr. Grisham, if a student had a box knife in their bag but it was just from being at work from the previous day, should they be allowed to have that? Absolutely not. No weapons at school at all. You got that one right. Woo! Good job. <laughs> Miss Lee, how do you feel about seniors going out to lunch? Oh, I think it's great that they get to leave for lunch. Okay, that's a good point. How would you feel about a senior taking a sophomore with them when they go out to lunch? I don't think there's anything wrong with it. That's a terrible idea. Only seniors go out to lunch. Got it. So, Dr. Hindenburg, how do you feel about midriffs showing? As long as it's covered whenever they're sitting down, you know, it's probably not a problem if they're walking down the hall. No, it's not allowed. We don't allow any of that. All right, no midriffs. I'm sorry. Okay. Dr. Hindenburg, what are your thoughts about hats? You know, hats, um, I don't know, I kind of have mixed feelings on them. They probably shouldn't be worn in the building, but I'm just not going to make a huge deal out of it this year. Wrong! <laughs> all right. No way! No hats in the building. No hats I got at it. all. I got it. <laughs> Mrs. Royal, I really need my transcript right now. You need to fill out the form. But you don't understand, I need it now. Okay, I'll fill out the form. So I hear homecoming is a big deal around here. What day is homecoming on? Homecoming's on September 30th this year. Wrong. It's a week long event. You're right. Homecoming is a big deal. Good one. Claremore High School family, I hope you've enjoyed our tortilla challenge. Um, please know that if you choose to do this, if you hit somebody at school with a tortilla or anything, you will be suspended for a minimum of two days. Thank you so much and have a great school year.